Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing some Girl of the Year bed sets from American Girl. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner so you're notified every time I upload a new video. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can determine whether or not they'd like to purchase these products. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below which set is your favorite. I'll be opening and reviewing McKenna's loft bed, Gabriella's loft bed, and Joss's Volkswagen surf bus. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me Gabriella's loft bed and Joss's Volkswagen surf bus, but I did purchase McKenna's loft bed. So let's go ahead and open and review the first item which will be Gabriella's loft bed. The first set we'll be taking a look at is Gabriella's Loft Bed. Gabriella is a retired Girl of the Year doll, and this set was a part of her collection. When the set was available at American Girl, it retailed for $225, and it does come with quite a few different pieces, and it's all wrapped in plastic, so I'm just trying to remove all the pieces from the set itself, so I'm able to take a look at all the different items. It does come with multiple different accessories as well. Gabriella loves poetry, art, and dance, so a lot of the accessories included in this set will be themed to those activities. And the set itself is mainly a teal and purple color, and this section here is the side table, and then this here is the back of the loft bed, and there are a few accessories tucked into this storage compartment. This section is the top part of the loft bed, so where the mattress is stored, and this extra item holds up the loft bed itself. And all of the extra accessories and bedding are located in this plastic bag, so all I need to do is take everything out so we can start talking about some of the smaller accessories. The first couple of pieces that come in the set are these postcards. These items tie along with the postcards. They are pens. They're exactly the same. They're a gorgeous purple color, and it says American Girl on the front. Now it's time to take a look at these container boxes. So there's a total of two that come in the set and what I really like about them is that they're purple but they're still clear. You can put books or paper or accessories inside and you'll still be able to see what's in there. And they've also used Gabby's heart logo at the front of the box which ties in with a lot of her other accessories too. The next item is a sketch pad. So all of the pages inside are completely clear and blank and on the front there's a butterfly design and it says premium drawing paper and it's blue. As I said before, Gabby loves poetry, so of course they had to include that a part of this set. So this is a poetry journal, and there's lined paper inside, but it is completely blank with no writing, and then on the front it does say poetry journal. It's mainly a green teal color, but there's a star design in the corner, and it's purple too. The set does include an electronic device, so there is a tablet. It's a light blue color, and there is a lovely butterfly design on the front. If you're wondering how to put the screen card into the tablet, it's pretty simple. So I've already done half of it. I've pushed half of it in. You can see there's a hole on the side where the three buttons are, and what you do is you push it in, and it should just slide in nicely, and it looks so realistic once it's placed in. And the next item we have here is a yellow plastic picture frame, and there's a picture of a cat. Here we have just some extra loose leaf paper. It's all lined paper and there's also some holes on the side in case if you have a binder if you want to put them in there. There are also six pieces of construction paper and they're in the colors yellow, blue, and purple. And the next item we have here are a pair of scissors. So there are a set of paint brushes. There are a total of three. There's a purple handle one, a blue handle one, and a green handle one. The green handle one seems to be a lot taller than the other two. There are a ton of different pieces here. So firstly, we have a set of paint tubes, and what's really cool about them is that they're all different sizes, and it looks like they've been used. There's indents, so it looks like it's been rolled up. So there's red, black, white, yellow, and blue. And then here we have the paint palette, which looks so realistic. It looks like it would actually be real paint. There are three paintings that come in the set, and here we have the first one. There are a ton of different words on here, so passion, expression, speak. So I think this is all about her spoken word poetry. This painting is definitely the smallest out of the three options, but I do love this paint splatter design. There are so many different colors. There's blues, there's pinks, and there's yellow too. I can't forget to show you guys the last painting. It's a lot larger than the other ones, and instead of pinks and purples being used, more colors of blue, black, and red are placed there instead. This item here is a small storage box so Gabby can store away all of her art supplies. One item that would definitely need to be included in an art set is an apron. There's a light blue one here and it features different paint splatters on the front. This piece is great to place on Gabby's loft bed desk area. It is a lamp. It's a pink color and there's also a ton of different white designs here. And this on button here actually works. And the next item we have here is a stool. The item itself is purple, but the top is a light pink purple color. And it's quite heavy, so it should be able to stay in place. This set comes with a pillow. It's a deep purple color to match the rest of the pieces of Heart of the Loft Bed. 
I really like this pillow. It's really cute, especially since it's kind of Gabby's logo. So the butterflies along with the hearts are on a lot of her pieces. So it's yellow in the background. You can see pinks and purples and this turquoise mint green color is so cute. The comforter is really cool because it's double sided. So on this side, it's a purple crisscross pattern. And on this side, I feel like it definitely suits Gabby's creative side. You can see all the paint splatters everywhere. And I love the yellow with the purple. I think I prefer this side, but this side is just as pretty. And just before we talk about the loft bed itself, I'm going to go ahead and build it. There are instructions, so it should be pretty simple to build. There are three main pieces at the bottom that just need to be attached together. And then finally that top part of the loft bed too. Right now I'm just adding some of the postcards onto the backboard and adding some accessories into those storage containers too. And in front of the paper, I'll just be adding a pair of scissors. So one box can go on the floor on this side and the other side can go into that storage unit right at the bottom of the loft bed. The light can go right in the corner here in one of these display shelves next to the picture frame. And the perfect place for the stool can go right next to the desk with the poetry journal just laying on top of it and a pen of course as well. And just to add an extra item to the front of the wall here, I'm just placing down one of the pictures that were included in the set. And then over here, this space seems to be a lovely addition for the tablet. And then right underneath that, I'm adding the drawing journal and another pen. And rather than using her desk as a workspace or a school space, I'm going to set it up as a painting and arts and crafts scene. So we have a painting right at the back, and then I'm just adding all of the paints, the paint brushes, and the small art box as well. As I said before, there are a variety of different paint tubes that are included in the set, so I'm just adding all of the different colors in the leftover space, and there's one more to add right at the back. And just before I organize the bed, I'm adding the art smock to the hook in the corner. So the first item for the bed is, of course, the mattress, followed by the comforter. And as I said before, I definitely prefer the side that looks like paint splatters and very brightly colored. So that's the side I'll be choosing today. But of course, both options really do suit her loft bed. And then the pillow, and finally the small little throw pillow as well. Here we have an overview of Gabriella's loft bed. What I really do love about the set is that there is a desk section at the bottom and there's also some shelving units and a storage section right at the bottom as well. And of course there's the bed section at the top. So there are so many different features to the set itself. I also really do love the art themed accessories and they can also be used not in this room setup, but they can also be used as miniature accessories as well. This bed set here is McKenna's loft bed. It's a part of McKenna's collection. She is a retired girl of the year doll and her storyline is all about gymnastics, which is why you might see a lot of gymnastics themed items in the set. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting up the loft bed with all of the accessories. The first item that I placed down was a trophy and the next item here is a mirror. Both of these items are made out of a plastic material and the mirror has a lovely floral design on the back. This section of the loft bed is a desk, so of course I'm placing a lamp in the corner. The next item here is a notepad. It has lined paper on it and the pages are also removable too. And along with the notepad, there's also a small note to McKenna from her mom. A notepad wouldn't be complete without some pencils. There's a total of three in the set, a pink one, an orange one, and a green one, and their handles are different colors too. There is a board at the back of the loft bed to display different ribbons and posters. Since I said McKenna was a gymnast, she has a lot of gymnastics ribbons included in the set. And there are small pieces of paper behind the ribbon so they can be attached to the elastic. The only thing about the elastic is it does stretch depending on how heavy the item is, so you do need to be careful about that. Another item that I'm adding to the back of the board is a certificate of achievement and there is a blank space so a name can be written. I will just be adding that to the lower part of the board since there is a poster that's quite large that will take up most of the space up on the top section. The poster is of course themed to gymnastics again. It has a gymnastics pose on it with a star and it says go for it on the top. It's a bright pink color and there is also some green to match the rest of the items in the set. This item here is a heart shaped little poster and it says never give up. And the last item I'll be adding in is the ribbon. It says number one and it's a silver color. There is a clip on the back so it can be attached to the elastic. But you do have to be careful with this item because it's quite heavy so it pulls down the rest of the elastic pieces. 
So let's start setting up the storage section of the set. That sits on the other side of the loft bed and there is this small storage unit. There is a door that slides open and close on both sides so it's easy to access the items and to store pieces away too. But I won't be storing anything away today so I'm just going to start setting up the top compartment. So there are a few different shelving units and then there's this bottom section too. First off, there is a clock and it's a really bright orange color and the time can be rotated with the small little handle at the back. One of my favorite items in the set would definitely have to be the books because they're inspired by a real book. So this one here is Harry and the Dirty Dog and the illustrations look so realistic. You can open it and read it and the writing is slightly smaller because it's miniature sized. And once I add that book in place, that's the bottom shelf organized. So now it's time to organize the middle shelf. The second book included in the set and my favorite book is Charlotte's Web and there's writing again in that book, but it is very small and there are some smaller illustrations as well. I do really love how this is a hardcover book as well so you're able to stand it up to display it. And it does say American Girl at the back too, so I'll just stand it up over in the corner of this shelving unit. And another book included in the set is not a hardcover book, but it's based off of another book. It's called Judy Moody Was in a Mood and there's writing in it again with some smaller illustrations too. This one is styled very similar to the Charlotte's Web book compared to Harry and the Dirty Dog. And as for the top shelving unit, this is the perfect place for McKenna's hamster. There's a hamster cage. It's clear so you're able to see what's inside. There's also a small drinking bottle on the side too. There's a hamster wheel and that's a blue color. There's also a small little bowl as well. That's a purple color. And of course there is a hamster as well. It's miniature size and it's a gray color. It's very soft and I have everything all set up in the hamster cage. And the final addition is the lid. It's a bright pink color and the bottom of the hamster cage is a green color. I've added all the accessories to the shelving units but now it's time to display the rug. It's a very bright green color. It matches a lot of the items in the set. And then there's the chair too. It's purple and green and the small little cushion has some stars on it. The chair is not made out of a plastic material and it's quite a heavy set. I do also love the star design on the back of the chair and it just has some lovely features to it. And also this small little pink purple pillow is a dog bed cushion for McKenna's dog that can go right over in the side. Now it's time to organize and set up the bed part of the loft bed. So of course the main set is purple and there are a lot of star designs everywhere, but I've just placed down the purple mattress and then there's a comforter as well. There are two different design options. One side is purple and the other side is green and it has some white stars to match the cushion on the chair. There are also two pillows included in the set, a green pillow and a purple pillow as well. Overall, the set has so much detail to it. I especially love all of the gymnastics accessories and the set overall is such great quality. My favorite smaller accessories would definitely have to be the books, Harry and the Dirty Dog, Charlotte's Web, and also Judy Moody was in a mood. This item is a part of Joss Kendrick's collection and she's the girl of the year for 2020 and it is her Volkswagen Surf Bus set. And the set itself retails for $650 being one of the most expensive sets that American Girl has ever released but it does come with quite a few different accessories and it's very interactive as well. For this particular item to make it as realistic as possible, American Girl did partner with the company Volkswagen. And the reason why the surf bus is included in a girl of the year bed opening and review video is because the storage bench turns into a bed. Joss's storyline is themed to cheerleading and surfing so a lot of the accessories are themed around that. Let's go ahead and unwrap all of the packaging so we can take a look at the first item. First off the door does open and close on both sides so the other door over there opens and I've already attached some batteries so we can hear some of the features. So first off the horn does honk which is really fun and then the wheel turns as well. The indicator makes a sound too. You can flip it up and you can also turn it down and the lights actually switch on at the front of the bus too. Also there are multiple different buttons here. This one here switches the light on at the front and you can also switch it off too. And the other sound over there makes some phrases for Joss. There's also some music, but I'll just be playing the phrases today. So let's listen to a few of them. So that's actually the window wipers. They open and close, but let's listen to some of the phrases. The first rule of the server's code is that you have to give respect to get respect. Surf's up. The waves are perfect for surfing right now. Did you see the air I caught on that gnarly wave? And as for the rest of the phrases, I'll be playing them right at the end of the video, so stay tuned for those. 
And even though the gear stick doesn't make a sound, it does move up and down as well, just like the real surf bus. I've just rotated the surf bus around so you're able to see some of the detail on the door. So none of the features actually work over here, but they're just added to just make it look a little bit more realistic. So this item here is meant to wind down and up the window, but of course there's no window. Then there's also a handle there too. But what I really love about this feature is that it's so padded and soft to match the seats itself. So what I love about the seats is that they actually rotate. So they're facing the front now, but you can go ahead and turn to the back so they can be sitting down like so. Of course, there are seat belts included in the set. There's a Velcro piece that makes it open and close. And then this piece is quite stretchy. It's made out of elastic. So when the doll is seated, you can go ahead and attach that back to the Velcro and it should be able to stay in place. And here we have Joss sitting in the passenger seat, but of course it's rotated so that she could be using the table and the other features inside of the surf bus. Even though there aren't as many features on this side compared to the other side, I still want to show you what's here. So as I said before, music does play. The button is right over here and there are multiple different songs to listen to. There's also a glove box compartment which opens and closes, but it is quite small so you're only able to store smaller accessories. For example, I have the hydrogen peroxide bottle just to give you an idea of what size item probably fits in that compartment. And if you'd like to see a detailed review of all the accessories, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video. There is a small holder here for the vase and the flower as well. So I have that right here to add in and it fits really nicely. You must be wondering where the table is. It's actually located right over here and why it's folded up is so you're able to slide this piece out when you're ready to use that. But I'm going to show you how the table works. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift it up and then there's the legs and you can unflip it and you can stand it up like so. There is a small holder on top of the table for smaller brochures and magazines. There is a total of three in the set. I have them right here. Let me place them down like so, and they should be able to stay in place. One item that's really great about the set is that there's a small storage compartment to store any extra items you won't be using for the setup. The drawer opens and closes, and I really love how it's blended in with the rest of the set, so it's not as noticeable, but it does have a bright blue handle. So the item I'm going to be storing there today is the sleeping bag, because I won't be using that. This, of course, is included in the set, and it's a great add-on item. And now that that's inside, I'm going to go ahead and shut it and then it should be able to close. And the other item I'd like to include right now, of course, is the rug as well. It is so soft. It's quite small. It's a nice little decor item to add underneath the table. So I'll slide that in and the table should be able to stand on top of it. And just in case if it gets quite dark and you'd like some light in the van, there is actually a light in the middle of the van, which switches on, and there's a button to switch it off as well. Another sport that Joss loves is skateboarding, of course, besides surfing and cheer. There is a skateboard included in the set, and I really love how there's a skateboard holder part of the surf van as well. It's located right at the top here, so it's out of the way, but it's also a nice visible piece as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the skateboard and it seems like it's staying in place. You can see that bottom section is not attached, but I don't think it will fall over. So let's go ahead and talk about the back of the van. So Volkswagen's written here because of course American Girl did partner with Volkswagen to make this set, and it says American Girl Surfer for the license plate, and there are a total of two doors. This one opens at the bottom, it's quite small, while this one is a lot larger, and it opens up at the top, and it seems to stay in place once you open it, which is really great, especially if you're setting up this back section. This is what the back looks like. There are two drawers and there's a compartment section in the middle there. The first drawer opens up to reveal the little kitchen section. There is a grill and then there's also a stove part too. This part completely comes out like so. And then I'm going to set it up with some of the pieces. So we'll use the grill for the chicken, of course. And then also we have the fry pan for the eggs. And I just added the spatula there too. All of those pieces aren't removable. They're not stuck together or anything. In the middle here, this compartment's perfect for the cooler, and this section opens and closes too. Here's the cooler. It's completely empty, and in there, I'll just be adding the popsicles. There's a total of two. This goes at the bottom. Along with that, I'll add in some coconut water, and then I'll also add in the burrito as well, and the burrito looks so delicious. 
place that down. I'll also close this as well so you can see it does fit in that small section. This last drawer opens and closes and it's another storage compartment and I'll actually just be placing that first aid kit in there. It seems to fit really nicely but of course you can place cooking utensils or anything like that since this is the kitchen setup. While you're cooking breakfast or s'mores or anything like that, you can enjoy a movie night. So there is a projector screen included in the set and there are two holes and two hooks attached to the actual van. What you're meant to do is you're meant to attach the holes to the hook and it can be used as a makeshift screen and then you can fold it away when you're finished with it. And there is a projector included in the set. It's quite lightweight so it's easy to carry around and there is a storage section for the slides and there's a total of three of them but I already have them outside of the set. There's one for the surf, there's one for cheer, and then there's one for the beach as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cheer one. I'm going to place that in. And then there is a light that switches on and off as well. So you can see that switches on. And then you're meant to use the cooler as a stand. And then there's a compartment that opens this up. You're able to lean it like so, and it should project onto the screen. And here we have the other two discs. One of them is themed to surfing, and the other one is themed to the beach. So at the back portion of the bus, it can either be transformed into a couch or a bed. I'd really like to set it up as a couch, but I thought I'd show you how it looks as a bed first. So that bottom piece extends out. You just have to lift the table up, of course. And then as for the mattress, there's Velcro pieces at the bottom, so it doesn't slide. It's a gorgeous light blue color to match the surf bus. I just have the sleeping bag right over here with the pillow to place on top. The set does also come with a matching blanket, so I'll go ahead and add that. And then we'll also add the throw pillows as well. There's a total of two, and they're themed to the beach. There's a strap here in the van, and that holds up the padding for the couch. And then when you're finished, you can actually remove the strap, and then you can turn it into a bed. So I already have the base already strapped down because there's Velcro, but what you're supposed to do is you're meant to lift it up, wrap it around over the strap, and then bend it down and it should look like a couch. And here's what it looks like from the back. You can see that the strap is holding up the padding. So the first item that I have here is the blanket and I'll go ahead and pull that down. So it's more of a decor item and then there's a total of three pillows in the set. The main one can go in the middle and then the decoration ones can go on either side. So that one can go on one end and then the other one can go on the other end. And the final item that we need to set up besides the surfboard is, of course, the table. So the first thing we'll be placing down is the laptop, since Joss will be going on that. And then we also have some lunch. There's a sandwich. And then there's also a smoothie, too. We'll place that over here next to the parfait. Of course, you do need a spoon for that. And then maybe the pretzels can go behind the laptop, and that can be a snack for later on. And the dog food can sit right next to the table. And here we have the compartment for the surfboard. It's actually located on top of the van and there's a strap on either side so it stays in place. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories included in the set. There are so many detailed accessories. There's food items. There's also items for the kitchen as well. There's some really adorable decor items and there's some bedding items too which can be transformed and used for the bed and also the couch as well. There's also a really great laptop and there's stickers for personalization. And now that we've opened up the smaller accessories, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the food items. So here we have some of the main meal pieces. First off, there's some grilled chicken, there's a burrito in the middle, and there's some detail. And then finally, there is a sandwich. And of course, there are some breakfast options too. So right at the end, there's some pancakes, and you can see that they're double stacked with some butter on the top. There's some fried egg in the middle, and it's very lightweight because it's made out of a plastic material if you can hear that. And then there's also some strips of bacon, but they're all connected together. One of my favorite items in the set would definitely have to be the pretzel pack. It is so realistic. The pretzels are visible because there's a clear screen, but the packaging does look so realistic. And then the other item here is a parfait. I have it tilted to the side so you're able to see the detail. You can see the berries, and then there's also the rest of the item too. 
One of the most common food items American Girl tends to release are berry packs. There was some in the city market and here we have some as well. There is a clump of berries and I do really like how it comes with a plastic container. There's a lid with a clip so it's easy to open and close and there's also some bananas as well. A really common treat to have, especially in the summertime, are ice creams and popsicles. There are two popsicles included in the set, an orange one and a blue one. I do really like how you can see the stick inside of it, and it's a little bit clear too. The next two items we'll be taking a look at are some refreshing drinks. So first off, there is a can of coconut water, and the detail is on both sides of the can as well. And then there's also a kiwi-flavored smoothie, which seems really interesting. Joss does have a pet dog named Murph, so there is a food bowl and there's also some pet food for the dog to enjoy while traveling around. These two items definitely go along with the food pieces, so first off there's a plate. It is fairly large and it has a blue and white color scheme. I really do love the wave effect in the middle because it matches the rest of Joss's collection. There's also a spoon too. Each girl of the year normally does come with an electronic device, whether that's a phone, a tablet, or a laptop. Joss came with a phone with her accessories, and here we have her laptop. I do really love this peach color. It's so lovely. It says high tides, good vibes, it continues with that beach theme. And then there's also this USB plug that lifts out, and you can also place it back into the laptop too. As you can see, the screen does open and close, and the keys are a bright yellow color. What I really like about American Girl devices is that they have interchangeable screens, so it's not just stuck on one photo. Here we have a total of two different screens available, but they are double-sided, so there's a total of four different options to choose from. The first one here is based off of the SoCal Board Shop, and there's a total of three different surfboard styles. Both of these are part of her collection. This one is from this particular set, and then here we have a third one that matches the color scheme in her collection too. This one here seems to be a video editor of Joss's cheer competition. And here we have the other side. So again, this one is all about a video editor, except it's different footage. It's about Joss surfing instead of cheering. And then over here, there is a cheer registration form and it's participant information and there's different sections to fill out. I do have to say, this is made out of a very similar paper material, so you do have to be careful in case of it might bend. So in case if you're wondering how to add the screens into the actual device itself, there is a hole on the top here and what you're meant to do is you're meant to slide the screen down and it should be able to stay in place and when you're finished you can remove it and then you can either flip it around or you can grab the other side and you can place it in like so and then you can fold it down. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the first aid items. There is a bag to be able to store everything. It says surfer's first aid and there's Velcro so it's easy to open and close. And there's a total of three smaller items. The first piece here is some hydrogen peroxide. I'll place that right at the bottom. The next item is slightly smaller. It's the antibiotic ointment. And the third item is some pain reliever. So all of them do fit in the bag and it closes with the Velcro. And the last few items here for the first aid kit, again, there are a pair of scissors. These do open and close, but of course they're made out of a plastic material, so they're not sharp. There are some gauze pads, and then there's also a bandage wrap too. And a few more items to include in the set is the ice pack, and then also there's a sheet of band-aids, and they're removable, so they're actually stickers, so you can stick them onto the 18-inch doll. And they're all very brightly colored. There is orange, blue, green, and pink. There is a pan, and it's a gorgeous orange peach color. There's also a pot to match the actual bus itself. It's a blue color. There's also some classic tongs and a spatula too, and they're both made out of a lightweight plastic material. There's some bedding included in the set, and I love how it all has a beach theme. They're so gorgeous, and the color scheme's so pretty as well. So first off, we have the main pillow, and it is so soft. It's an orange peach color, and then there's two decor throw pillows as well. This one's bright pink with a palm tree, and there's some stripes. I really love this one, it says waves for days, there's a wave design, and there's a rainbow on the top too. This item here is the mattress, it's a gorgeous light blue color, and there's velcro straps on the bottom so it doesn't move around. The next item here is a sleeping bag, I really love how the material here matches the pillow, it is so soft and it's a lovely orange peach color, and on the outside there is a design, you can see that it's sewn right up until here so it only opens until this section. A beach set wouldn't be complete without a towel. This one here has some palm trees and some stripes too. The next two items are more for the decoration of the van. There's a blanket and a rug. So the first item here is quite a thin material and there's a lovely pastel design. And then the other item here is so soft, but it is quite small. 
All of these items are for the projector screening. There is a screen, it says American Girl at the bottom, and there's two holes, one on either side, so you're able to display it, and it can be projected forward. The projector itself is quite a lightweight material, but the batteries aren't included. And then there's a small slot, so you're able to place the disc. There's a button here, and in case if you're wondering, I found the disc in this small compartment, so there is a section for storage and then it projects it with this display over here. There's a total of three different disc options. One of them is themed to surfing, there's another to cheer, and the third one is for the beach. There are a few magazines and brochures, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. First off, there's a Surf's Up SoCal magazine. Of course, it's all about surfing, and there are images inside, and that says, this page says, a poptastic place, and then there is some more information about a surf shop. There's multiple different pages to read, and you can actually read the writing, which I think is really great. There's also some surf spots, and they're the top 10 SoCal surf spots. That opens, and there's some more information on the other side, too. And the last item here is a surfer's handbook, and you can learn all about surfing. It's definitely a great read, and of course, the font is small enough to fit onto the miniature book, but it is large enough to read. These two items are more for decoration pieces for the set. There is a vase and a flower. There are a total of five photos included in the set. They're perfectly miniature sized, and they're themed to Joss cheering and surfing. In order to keep food items and drinks cool, there is a cooler. There's a handle at the top so you're able to carry it around. It's made out of a plastic material and it's surprisingly quite lightweight, but it'll probably be quite heavy once you add all the food items inside. There's two inlets at the top here for drinks and then there's a larger one over here as well for some food items. There's the classic wave design and then there's also a clip so you can open and close it. Let me go ahead and add, let's say, the bananas at the bottom. And also there are some popsicle wrappers included in the set, so I could unwrap those and I could add the popsicles in here too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close it, and then I'll add the drinks at the top. So there's the coconut water, there's also the smoothie, and I'll just be adding that raspberry packet at the top there as well. When I was reading Joss's book, I learned that she loved to skateboard and also her dog Murph skateboards as well. So I was really surprised the skateboard wasn't released in her January 1st collection, but I'm so glad they included one in this set. That's why I had to include a skateboard when I was setting up her room right at the start of the year. So this one here, there are two elastic items here, so you're able to place the foot so it doesn't slip. While skateboarding, you can see it's a classic black color. It says American Girl with some stripes and there are some wheels at the bottom. I do really like how this design is very brightly colored, but of course the wheels do work. Let's go ahead and take a look at the surfboard. So I do already own a surfboard for Joss that was a part of her surfboard set during her January 1st release, but they have another one included in the set, and I really love how different it is. You can see that the styling is completely different. The other one was more brightly colored. This one has a lot more pastel colors to match the actual main piece. So there is a strap here, and there's also two smaller straps here, so able to place the foot down, very similar to the skateboard set. There's the classic wave design that was also on the cooler too. If you take a look at the back, it does say American Girl, and it just looks a lot like a surfboard. And then there's a small tab here, so you're able to place that GoPro. I really do like how there is a personalization element to the set. There's a sheet of stickers, so you're able to decorate all the items. And let's go ahead and listen to the rest of the phrases a part of Joss's surf bus. Did you see the air I caught on that gnarly wave? Check out Topia's beach art. It's so cool. Let's take Murph to Dog Beach. She's always ready to go surfing. Ugh, the waves are total mushburgers. Let's get milkshakes at the pier instead. Whew. I went to the sled at cheer practice today. Time for a swim at the break. Let's set up the projector and watch our surfing contest video. Look, there's a sea lion over by the pier. So as you can hear, there are quite a few different phrases about Joss surfing, cheering, there's even some sounds about her dog Murph and her friend Sophia too. Overall, I really do like Joss's Volkswagen Surf Bus. Of course, it's one of the most priciest items that American Girl has ever released since they had to collaborate with Volkswagen to release the set. It retails for $650, but it comes with so many different smaller accessories. And then I really love how there are so many interactive features with the van itself. It makes sounds, it plays music, it also honks, and the indicator works as well. I also really like how the couch turns into a bed as well. So it is very interactive. That's a really great part of the set. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.